What's up YouTube? I just want to talk to you guys in this video about something that I'm really passionate about. It excites me and that's mycorrhiza fungi. I'm sure you've heard about it before. It's really what makes the plant world go around. Um, when you're trying to create like a vegetable garden, you need a lot of nitrogen. Um, you need more of an alkali, or a, uh, yeah, alkali environment. So you need a lot of bacteria getting in there, breaking up a compost pile, and uh, really creating a lot of nitrogen for your vegetables. But when you're creating a landscape with landscape plants, um, a landscape that's going to be there for 5, 10, 15, maybe 100 years, you really need more of an acidic environment. And the way to get that is with mycorrhiza fungi, or any kind of fungi really. You've got to use more of a, a carbon material. Um, in the forest, when branches break off, leaves fall from the trees, all these things are falling to the ground, all the debris, bacteria isn't what's breaking all of that up. It's the fungi that's breaking all of those materials up and creating more of an acidic environment um, and providing nutrients over a longer period of time for that forest to grow. And the cool thing about mycorrhiza fungi is it really supplies tons of water and nutrients to the plants and if you've got a lot of it in the soil around your place, if you've got a, a well populated area of uh, fungi, it's going to help those plants to grow so much healthier. Now a lot of people go out and they buy this fungi and they, you can buy spores of it and then inoculate your soils with it but you can really get this stuff for free you can make your own and it really is everywhere in the environment natural environments um, and you can just you can make it so you really don't let's take a look at this pile I've got over here that has been composting and then finally once it was done composting the fungi got in there and are really starting to do their business So I was digging in this pile. This is a pile of uh, steer manure that I get at a local dairy um, down the road and it's been composting for a couple years. Now this little pile off to the side, you can see the change in color, was actually chicken manure that came out of our chicken coop and my wife kind of piled it up over here. Um, it sat for I think about a year and a half now and is totally composted down. I didn't turn this pile, I didn't do anything special to it, I just let it compost down and uh, do its thing. It's not even a very big pile. It's only a couple feet, um, maybe four feet by two or three feet. It's probably only two feet high. So it's really not big enough to get real hot and compost. What I was wanting was the fungi to get in there and really start working. And if you look here, I started digging up an area. I've been really uh, working on my blueberries and raspberries right now this year. Um, which require more of an acidic environment which is created by the fungi. So right up here you can see mushrooms growing um, and that tells you right now that there's going to be a uh, good supply. Of, uh, the fungi down below are, is growing in that pile and it's um, producing those mushrooms. But I kicked over this little pile right here when I was uh, digging in this soil and look what I found here. It's pretty cool. So this is all natural. I didn't inoculate anything. I didn't do anything with this. You've probably seen it on your own property, but all of the web down in there is mycorrhiza fungi. And that is what's breaking down all the wood chips and chicken manure in there. Um, and what is really going to provide a ton of nutrients for the plants eventually when this gets spread out over them. So it's all down throughout that soil. Uh, and this is just naturally occurring. Now the cool thing about this stuff, it really works um, in a symbiotic relationship with the plants in nature. Um, the plants roots go out and they get nutrients from the surrounding soils, the minerals they need and the nitrogen they need. Uh, and at some point the roots stop. Well, how do they go out and get water and nutrients beyond that? Well, that's with a symbiotic relationship between them and the fungi that's in the ground. That fungi, over time, when it's maturing like a forest, can spread for miles. And it wraps around the little roots of the plant and the fungi supplies water, it supplies nutrients, minerals to the plant that it goes out and can get from feet away from the plant, from, you know, yards away, from 
a mile away and it supplies those plants with all the nutrients it needs and in return the plant excretes, uh, excretes a uh, uh, nutrients for the fungus to feed on and grow on and so it really all works together um, and in fact um, this stuff is so prevalent in nature I want to show you something real sick just come along with me all right, so we're coming up on a roadie bed here that I planted last year, and I've done nothing to the soil. Um, I really just kind of disked it with the tractor and planted the roadies. I put a little bit of manure around each roadie, and then uh, I just put bark down over the whole thing. Right here in between all these roadies, this area right here is just bark. It was just bark on top of dirt. There's no manure underneath there. There's no compost. There's nothing special. It's just bark. So let's kind of, I haven't done anything with this soil. I'm just going to dig down in here. This bark has been sitting on top of soil for about two years. Let's just dig down and we'll see what we can find. And look at that. I did, you saw this bark has just been sitting here. I didn't do anything with it. I don't know if you can see that, let's let the camera focus here. But there is just a mass of fungus in there. And that's mycorrhiza fungi, just growing naturally. Look at how much, look at how much of that stuff is growing in there. Look at that. There's just a mass of it. And that's all part of the soil food web right there. It goes deep down in there. That's just wood chips. And so I want to show that to you, really, truly, I did nothing with this soil. Um, I just, it's just dirt. It was just forest dirt. Um, I limbed these trees up that you see around here um, and then disc the soil so that I could get rid of the weeds. I planted all my roadies and then just dumped bark right on top of the soil. I didn't inoculate anything here. And you can see, I mean, I'm five feet from that roadie. I'm probably four feet from that roadie. And just out in the middle of nowhere here, I've got all kinds of mycorrhiza fungi. This stuff is just growing like crazy. And you don't have to do anything to it. It's just occurring naturally. Um, this fungi, it probably spreads, if we started digging it up, it probably spreads all the way to the roots over there, at that roadie. And they're just feeding each other. So I don't know about you, but I just think that's really cool stuff. Um, and now that you've seen how easily that stuff grows, let's show you how you can make your own if you really want to make a lot of this fungi and spread it throughout your gardens, throughout your landscapes, and really improve the structure of the soil. Um, let's show you how to do that. All right, so we're back at that pile again of all the steer manure and the chicken manure and this right here is a fresh pile of chicken manure my wife just cleaned out the chicken coop yesterday and she dumped it here and that's a pretty small pile I mean it's probably I don't know about the same size as the other three feet by four feet if that um, maybe a foot two foot high so it's not gonna it's not gonna really heat up and compost extremely but what we've got is chicken manure mixed in with a ton of shavings so We've got tons of carbon material, which is perfect for those fungi to get in there and uh, just start chewing away. Um, so what we'll do is, you don't even have to do anything special. I'm going to come back over here and just grab this pile of manure right here. And you saw all that fungi just growing in there. That little web of all that stuff. It's just covering this whole chunk. And we're going to bring that right over here and we're just going to set it there and crumble that stuff all over this pile that fungus it don't need to be planted don't need to be buried you don't have to do anything special with it we just spread it out all over this pile now it would happen naturally but that will just speed up the process so now we've got that stuff just spread all over that pile of chicken manure and I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to let the rain just wash it right down into that pile. Come back in a year and you're going to have just an entire web of fungus in there. And you'll be able to use that entire pile to inoculate any soils um, with just a, uh, a high percentage of uh, 
that mycorrhiza. All right, guys, so that's it. Thanks for following along. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in some way. Um, go out and make some mycorrhiza fungi. Spread that stuff around your place and uh, enjoy the benefits. If you like the video, please like it. Um, if you like this series, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and have an awesome day.